I, pr I personally never use paintballs. I use powders or first tracks. So really, yeah, yeah, it's, that's what he's telling me. At least here, I I'll let you tell Pat. Yeah. I'll let you tell Pat about it. It's just, um, I didn't say, um, I don't like it that the, the paintballs most of the time make the marker dirty and stuff. And then with the powder balls, you have better accuracy. The effects yes. is better, you know, and that's the reason why a lot of players use them. So, I mean, they are expensive on their own. Yes, so they are. If you have, but you, on the most games we play here, uh, you shoot less. So. Yes, we don't shoot as I many wonder as if we could use the powder balls here in an event as, a, as classified as a round ball. Uh, I know some fields in Quebec, it flies. But uh, if anyone's in the chat that can let us know if we, besides in some of the places that Pat said in Quebec, if you can let us know in the chat if we can use powder balls at these events. I don't think so. Because you know what? Like you were saying, to keep your markers clean and everything, wow. Mm -hmm. I would be buying that. They're yeah. extremely expensive. But yes, they look cool. Much when more they go than a first strike, Pat? Much more than a first strike round? They're just hard to get. Like they're hard to find. I know Rap Four makes them or used to. Tomahawk get, as well. Yeah, there's some places that sell them. But I can't I, I couldn't give you an exact number. I'd have to go look it up, but I remember them being expensive. And they only come in like 250 or 500 like a jug. But like he's saying, they work really good. I've seen some that have dimpling, like a golf ball, and they travel like pretty straight for a paintball. Like for a ball, oh. they're traveling straight. And I would be careful with those. Yeah? Because they have around, as I think, they have an extremely big shell. Really big. So oh. they, uh, they hurt. Those are tingling. Those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, eh? Well, yeah, because... It's probably like a couple of millimeters thicker or something. Mm -hmm. I think three about three. And that and that wee little bit is a whole lot, right? We have Tyrell. He's asking you a question here. Um, what made him call himself Black Templar and use the cross on the shield? Um, uh, I'm a fan of Warhammer 40k. <laughs> oh, sick! And we were and there, I was sitting with my best buddy who is the leader of our team and we came from another group who just disappeared so and we are the only ones left who play still want to play paintball so we have to make an we can join someone or we made our own team and because i'm the, the one who is creative and that stuff i was thinking about what we do and we have two things we have two things we like we are like we, we like heavy metal of which course. means we wear black the whole time <laughs> And we are, we do like screaming a lot on the field. So what and that's what came up with something from Warhammer Forty K. And first we have gone with the Space Wolves. Yeah, I guess that's a that's a race in that game in that lore. And but they are blue like a Smurf, and that color doesn't fit. Get so up. we kind of like the logo, but not the, <clears> the thing. However, it's all ended up that we took the Black Templars, and also they have a shield and a cross on their logo, and I just reimagined that for our paintball team. That's all. See, and it's well, there you go, Ty. And <laughs> you took one of my questions off my whiteboard tonight because I was curious about that and um, where all that originated from. I like pretty cool. I like to learn new things, and that was pretty damn interesting. We are, we are victims of pop culture, so. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,